Amy lived in a beautiful cottage in the woods, far away from the hustle and bustle of the big city. In the morning, Amy would do her workouts, like push-ups and spin wins. Then she would make a protein shake and spend the rest of the morning working on her novel. If the weather was nice, Amy would go on a walk and pick wildflowers, which she liked to arrange in little vases around the house. Lunch was always at 1 o'clock, and she always ate a club sandwich and a smoothie. After lunch, Amy would unlock her secret room and continue working on all of her fantastical inventions, which she planned on using to assassinate every member of the United States government. There was the deli wobbler, which would slice the senators up into sandwich meat. There was the rippy roo, which would rip the organs out of the chiefs of staff until there was nothing left to rip. Today she was working on the flip and flop, which would slowly crush the president down into a gooey mess and then roll it out into a big pancake and burn the presidential seal into the center. Every night after dinner, Amy would bake herself a little cherry pie, her favorite, and eat it on the sofa while watching reruns of Angel. At 10 o'clock, Amy would brush her teeth and tuck herself into bed. Revolution was coming, and Amy was ready for it. Tonight, she'll dream of horses.